Hi, it's Sam with Get Together, your one-stop resource for easy appetizers and starters. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these delicious, you can't just have one, ricotta meatballs. They are so delicious, my mouth is watering already just for another bite. You can serve them alone, at a party like you would with Swedish meatballs, over pasta, in a meatball hero with some melted mozzarella cheese. You are going to love these meatballs and they are easy to make. We're going to start by prepping all of our ingredients. Four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, split in half, so two tablespoons each. Half an onion minced, three cloves of garlic minced, one pound of ground beef. Make sure not to get the lean ground beef, you want to have the fat. One cup of whole milk ricotta cheese a quarter cup of packed chopped parsley, one egg, one and a half teaspoons of sea salt or kosher salt, half teaspoon of ground pepper, one pinch of cayenne pepper, half cup of panko breadcrumbs, and a 28 ounce jar of marinara sauce, or you can make your own sauce ahead of time. I usually combine two cans of whole Roma tomatoes and one small can of Italian tomato sauce that's up to you. And then of course one cup of water. If you're going to make your own marinara sauce, I'd start with that first. Here we'll start with sauteing the onions in two tablespoons of olive oil in a skillet over medium heat until the onion is translucent for about five minutes. Stir in the garlic for a couple of more seconds, turn off the heat, and transfer the onion mixture into a large mixing bowl. Next, we are going to add ground beef, ricotta cheese, egg, black pepper, salt, parsley, and cayenne pepper with the onion mixture until almost combined. Add the panko breadcrumbs and continue mixing until it's thoroughly blended. I prepared a tray with parchment paper or if you have wax paper so it doesn't stick to the pan. Start rolling about two tablespoons of mixture into one inch ball for each meatball. It doesn't have to be perfect, mine certainly aren't. Pour two tablespoons of olive oil into the same skillet over medium heat and start browning your meatballs. You don't want to overcrowd your skillet, so you may have to do it in batches like I'm doing here. It should take about five minutes to cook. Once all your meatballs are cooked, wipe your skillet with a paper towel using tongs to remove the excess grease from the skillet. Pour in the marinara sauce. Transfer all the meatballs back into the skillet, then add the water. Stir to combine and bring to a simmer. Reduce the heat to medium-low and simmer, stirring occasionally until the meatballs are cooked through and no longer pink in the center, which will take about 30 minutes. And that's it! Ricotta cheese meatballs. I topped it with some Parmesan cheese and OMG, you are going to love this recipe! If you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel to get ideas for your next get-together or meal for a party of fun. Until next time, guys, get together and enjoy.